Story 1. I worked in a Catholic teaching hospital, and the original building was built in 1800. I've heard stories of patients seeing a faceless nun, nurse, wearing a habit during nightly rounds. I used to work in the medicine unit and would rotate to nights often. One night, a co-worker asked me to do rounds on our patients together. For some reason, she did not want to go in this particular isolation room alone. Usually with negative pressure rooms, we stay in the ante room, look in on the patient through the glass door just to make sure they're okay. Apparently the night before, she was doing rounds on her partner's patients when she saw a shadowy figure standing over the patient in the dark room. She didn't think too much of it, as it's common for families to stay overnight. But it turns out this patient had no family spending the night. During night shifts, we were allowed to sleep in the break room if we had a covering partner. There's a corner to the storage room where staff can put a few stretchers during break. This feels creepy even during the day. I don't use this particular area, but one night, my usual place was occupied. So there I was, laying down on one of the stretchers with other people on break. I don't usually sleep during these sleep breaks. Just relax in case something happens to one of my patients. But I kept slipping into these dreams or visions of someone in scrubs walking back and forth beside the stretcher. At one point, I had my arm sticking out of the blanket and I felt something slowly clasp my hand and hold it. I simply changed positions and yelled it to go away. In my head, of course. Fast forward some years later, and I'm working at a geriatric clinic. There's an activity corner for patients located beside the staff office. It's visible from the reception area. I walked in one morning, said hello to the front desk, and when I see an old lady in a neon pink top with her back turned to me, holding onto the grab bars along the wall. Strange, we never have patients in this early. As I turn the corner and go to the office, the area is completely empty. I go into the office, go back out to chat with their clerical team. I mentioned the patient being there so early. Our clerical team was so confused and told me that no one had checked in yet. I stammer, but who is that back in there? When I said hello to you a few minutes ago, needless to say, I gave our clerical team a scare very early in the morning. But there was no patience there. Story 2. My family went on a historic learning vacation to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Because of all my experiences with the unknown, I wanted to stay in an inn on the battlefield that is steeped in history. We were the only residents downstairs. And after my family fell asleep, I went about meditation in front of the bathroom mirror looking deep into my own reflection. After doing so, and walking about the inn, nothing happened, and I decided it was getting late, and I needed to go to bed. As I was laying in bed, waiting to go to sleep, next to my husband, I hear a clang next to my head, like a chain pull on a lamp, hitting the lamp. My husband, who was a deeper sleeper than I ever was, woke up, Asking, what was that? The clanging sound was still happening. I answered, I thought that was you. Then the thud as a chain hitting the floor right next to him. We turned the switch of the nightstand on and looked all over for anything that could have fallen. We found nothing. Story three. Being that I work nights, I've always heard or seen things happen. Usually very minor. However... Over the past few weeks, things have started to come home with me. While trying to fall asleep around midnight, my phone fell off the nightstand. I was laying still, not too close to the nightstand when it fell. It fell face up and started playing a song on Pandora. In order for this to happen, I would need to tap the screen, swipe up, open the app, and tap play. I have not used Pandora in months. This freaked me out somewhat, only because it made me worry that someone needed me. I checked the kids, I checked my dogs, I checked the doors, I went to the list. 
I even checked the song to see if it was somehow significant to someone I knew. Nope. I went to lay back down and my sister texted me. She was in the ER with a compound fracture. So, I guess that's why the phone fell. While sitting on the couch with my 18-year-old daughter, we kept seeing a shadow on the back glass door. I could not tell if it was outside or inside, but it just flickered away after a few minutes. I know bugs will fly around the lot, but this was much bigger, without any definitive shape. We sit in a direct line of sight from this door and have never seen anything like it before. We've tried to find an explanation, but we can't. Then today, I was trying to take a nap. The door to the room opened. It opened about one-third of the way and then just stopped. I called to one of my dogs, who is notorious for coming in to disturb me while I'm sleeping. Nope. Not him. And I was the only person home. I just laid there, waiting to see if anyone would text. No one did, but I could not sleep after that. Every once in a while, for the last year or so, I swear I hear our side door shut. Like someone has come into the house. This is an older door that can be heard easily when it's closed. I happened to mention this to my daughter, and she said that she hears this too. I always say hello, because I'm not sure if anyone's coming in or out, or not. I guess I've gotten used to this. It doesn't really faze me anymore. Well, maybe just a little. Maybe I should put a small bell on that door and see if it rings when no one is there. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed the stories. If you did, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and say hello in the comments. Bye!